and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we got the Series 4 updated this year, guys. And this is honestly one of the best Series updates we've had up to date. So stay tuned for all of this crazy new stuff brand new max bot level great rewards to be quite honest with you guys new solo challenges and probably the best set of rewards we've actually gotten so far for a mutt level increase or anything in general so what, what, what's going to come today what we're going to go over in this video we're going to have a tory holt increase gauntlet gauntlet rewards mutt level rewards new cards new series master obviously max mutt level now as you can see in the top right corner let's right over there you can see it right above there. We are max mutt level 70, but that did increase now, so we have a full bar. Now, I will be making a video for you guys probably tomorrow going over the fastest way to level up, so you guys can have that there. So for all you guys trying to hit max mutt level fast, you can get that done as quickly as possible. Now, guys, before we get into this video, remember it is the 25 days of Poodmas. All you gotta do to enter the 25 days of Poodmas is a few simple things. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and once you do those things, comment down below your console, and the secret war which do all those things you are entered to win so good luck with that i will be announcing the winner at some point during this video probably towards the end so stay tuned for that from yesterday the winner by the way and to enter today well good luck with all that now guys what do we got to cover today we have so much stuff to cover trophies have been changed as you guys can see above series four trophies they're green now they're like an emerald green they have changed all my trophies are cut in half i think i had like 730 before so it does kind of suck that i lost half but i do have a head start to the new series master which is brandon cooks so i'm pretty excited for that because that brandon cooks does look like a monster he kind of looks like a better tyrant kill but we'll go over all that as we get into this video guys so let's get into everything guys okay, so let's start going to the store and go check out some of the new competitive currency stuff that they did actually drop into the game so let's head over to competitive currency did any of these prices change it does not look like that let's see okay so competitive currency Series 4 Hail Mary pack, Series 4 Midfield pack, Series 4 Touchdown pack. Let's see if any of the odds change. Typically they do. It is not showing me. Alright, cool. Let's see this one. Can we see the red zone pack? No, alright. So let's go over. So we got Brandon Cooks, Series 4 Competitive Master, and Series 4 Not Competitive Master. Same thing at the end of the day. We do have three choices of collectibles for John Madden. So we do have another option with John Madden now. Now guys, personally, this Brandon Cooks looks really, really good really good he is 94 speed his route running and his catching can get pretty close to 90 so all around this brandon cooks kind of looks like he kind of looks like tyree kill i'm not i'm gonna be honest with you guys and that's the beauty of it because so we've been using tyree kill for quite a while because of just his speed we didn't even care about everything else but look i have the stats here i'm pulling them off for brandon cooks he has 94 short route running 90 medium route running and 94 deep route running so he's one of the best route runners in madden hands down 96 catching 91 spec catch 89 catching traffic 94 speed are you joking this is tyree kill and randy moss if they had a child i think you have to get this brandon cooks if you power him up he will have 95 speed he'll have the same speed as tyree kill but he'll have the catching of randy moss i think we have to get this brandon cooks i think it's a must i think i'm definitely going for him i'd recommend you guys bull rush him now you could go for the regular one which would be a little bit more but you can sell him at least and this one is just gonna be now which is probably the one i'll end up going for now let's go check out the max mutt level rewards which they probably should have already up if we go to serious progression mutt level of course they do not have it yet let's go all the way down see if there's anything yet this stuff usually comes out in brackets so i gotta go really far down all right nothing let's go over to solo challenge to see if the gauntlet's out i do believe they're releasing another gauntlet i don't know if it'd be under the same thing or if it'd be under its own thing let's see so we got journey nfl 100 part two i believe we've had that already right Okay, the gauntlet one. I believe they have not dropped another thing just yet. Okay, so one sec. Let's wait for the other stuff to drop out. So one thing that is out is the 91 to 92 overall elite exchange. So we've been waiting for this because prior to this, they did give us the Mud Heroes exchange, which was pretty dumb. So now if you have any 89 to 90 overall players that you want to exchange, such as Nat players that we might have gotten from solos, this is a good way to do it. Let's see if I have any specifically for this. I only have Gilmore. I still Okay, so I only have Gilmore. So not really like anything I can really do here. But let's say you had like the Marcus Lawrence and Gilmore, or you had your two much superstars still, and you have another guy that's not, you could easily put them all in and get yourself a 91 to 92, which could be a decent Redux card or a base legend. That is not a bad exchange set at all. That's kind of what we've been waiting for, because we did get, they did drop one, but it was like when it gave us Mutt Heroes, which was kind of dumb to be quite honest with you guys. I don't know why they'd go that route, but that is the route they went, and we were stuck dealing with it. Now the Mutt level stuff still appears not to be out. I don't know why it's bracketed so long. But I guess we're about to be right back again if nothing appears to be out. Are the level challenges out? 
no new gauntlet just yet new power-ups i want to get over i want to go over for you guys so this is pretty big we typically like when they add new power-ups to the game so here's the list of new power-ups we got john brown which is good for all your raven steam team guys because now you can get john brown that team of the week hero on your raven steam team they added quentin dunbar minka fitzpatrick which is pretty cool derrick henry another good one oj howard Devontae parker joe Schobert, justin simmons and carson wentz so carson wentz finally has a power-up which he has not had all year surprisingly John Brown's a good one. Minka Fitzpatrick's a really good one. Devontae Parker's decent. Schober's pretty good because I believe he got a card not too long ago. And Derrick Henry and Minka, I mean, I doubt you have a Dolphins team team. Those are probably more just to upgrade them. But those are pretty cool add-ons to the power upset. We also have a list of Redux cards. I'm going to go over real quick. We got Lane Johnson as a Redux card. We got OJ Howard, William Jackson, Devontae Parker, Justin Simmons, Devondre Campbell, Fabian Moro, Dante Hall, Aaron Rodgers, Tevin Coleman, Brennan Scarlett, Christian Kirk, Darren Waller, Dante Jackson, Dalvin Cook, Justin Reed, Calais Campbell, Lamar Jackson, Bradley Chubb, Troy Palomalu, Donald Driver, Brian Bosworth, Matt Burke, Chris Johnson, and do we have more? Marquise Brown, John Abram, John Ross, Chase Vinovich, Montez Sweat, Marcus Hunt, Matt Breida, DK Metcalf. We also have Jerome Baker, Trey Waynes, Kyler Murray, Bryce Callahan, Mark Andrews, Robbie Anderson, Jalen Smith, Josh Allen. Please tell me those are all of them. Thank the Lord. That was a mouthful. All right. All right, guys. The secret word is gingerbread house for this video. Comment down below gingerbread house. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. Once you do those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. And the winner is Brandon Mitchum from yesterday. So make sure Brandon Mitchum to hit me up on Twitter and we'll work out the details for the giveaway. We're over on Twitter. So I want to show you guys some of these cards here because the gauntlet cards, no matter what, I have to show you guys over here because they are not out in the game yet until someone finishes the gauntlet, which might take a while. So gauntlet two. So... These are the new Gauntlet players. So, Xavier Rhodes is the first one. 90 speed, 89 excel, 86 agility, 95 jumping, 90 play rack, 90 man, 87 zone, 95 press. Pretty solid corner. Going to be very, very physical. Decent athleticism. I think he's a little too slow for my liking. Although, if you are able to power him up, which it doesn't, you cannot because he has a Gauntlet, which hurts him a little bit for the time being. If he was able to be powered up, he'd be a lot better. Decent cornerback overall. I don't think he'd be my first option at cornerback, but let's go check out the rest of the options. Next, we got Jared Cook. The issue with this Cook is he's kind of slow. Only an 84 speed. Was kind of expecting more from a Cook card. 70 strength, 92 catching, 87 catching traffic, 89 spec catch, 86 short route running, 84 medium route running, and 62 run block. Can't run block, decent route running. Looks like kind of like a worse Kittle in my opinion. I probably wouldn't recommend this Jared Cook. Next, we got Marshall Yonda. Now, this is a solid card. 91 strength, 93 awareness, 89 pass block, 90 pass block power, 88 pass block finesse, 91 run block, 92 run block power, 89 run block finesse. All around solid card. Cam Dub is going to have all 90 thresholds. Pretty much it looks exactly like David DeCastro. That's all up to you on that one right there. And next we got Terrell Suggs, left outside linebacker. 77 speed, 82 excel, 88 strength, 86 tackle, 93 play rank, 85 block shed, 90 power move. He looks, he's a decent pass rusher, can't run stuff too well, too slow, 6 foot 3. Not a fan of this card at all. Now, if he could be powered up and put in a Ravens steam team, he'd be insane. But you cannot do that with this card, which does hurt his outlook for the most part, considering the fact that. If they could be powered up on a Ravens team, he'd be insane, but too slow. Block shed's too low. Power move just hits 90, and he can't be powered up, so it definitely hurts him. And then next, the final card, I believe, is Emmanuel Sanders. Emmanuel Sanders, 92 overall wide receiver. 88 speed, 91 jumping, 90 catching, 87 catching traffic, 88 spec catch, 90 short route running, 88 medium route running, and 88 deep route running. As a whole, if you can chem this card up and everything... Catching traffic will be better, spec catch will be better, deep route running will be close to 90. I think 88 speed is still way too low for the most part for this card. But let's head back on over to go check out the other stuff. All right, now let me show you guys the Tory hold upgrades because that is actually available. So he can go up to a 95 and then a 96. So his 96 overall card. So this one is a 93 speed. So I'm assuming he's probably going to max with about a 94 speed. 94 catching, 95 awareness, 78 kick return, 86 elusiveness, 89 juke, 86 spin, 87 ball carry revision, 89 spec catch, 88 catch and traffic, 94 medium route running, 88 beat press, 87 break tackle, 94 short route running, 92 deep route running. He is a route running extraordinaire. That's kind of what he's good at. Very fast. He's kind of like a Tyree kill that can route run properly. And he has decent catching. Chemed up and everything. He's going to be a really beastly wide receiver. Probably going to hit like a 97, 98 overall with the right team on the right chems. Uh, the sword hole is going to be amazing. All you got to do to get the sword hole, if you're wondering, is just level up. So we got to get to that level grind. Hopefully everything else is out just about now. Things are taking way longer than usual to actually come out. Surprise, not surprisingly, not so surprisingly, because this is Madden. We're kind of used to this at this point. Let's go check it out, see if there's anything new here that we can actually see. Serious progression. Ooh, there we go. Mutt level finally. 71 75. 
So at level 71, we get a fantasy pack of 88 overalls. Looks like Tom Brady, Aaron Donald, and then the other one's Zeke. So that's going to be a solid one if you guys needed Aaron Donald. There you guys go. Going to be about two bucks for that one. Game changer pack, a solid, a pretty solid pack, not going to lie. With all the new Redux cards too, you have a chance of pulling one of them. Then we get a master token for Tory Holt right here at 73. 40k coins at 74. At 75 is when we do get the 93 to 94 overall power pass. And I will have a power pass video for you guys probably later today, so stay tuned for that. Then at 76, we have another 89 overall fantasy pack. These are actually legends. It looks like Mel Blunt and Larry Allen. So that's a pretty solid pack. I've never seen that one before. Another game changer pack, which again, with all the new Redux cards, does give us a pretty good chance of pulling one of them. Another Tory Holt Master Token at 78. At 79, we get another 40k coin quick sell. And at level 80, we get a 95 overall power pass. Now this one's pretty crazy. We don't even have 95 overalls in the game yet. The first 95 overall is Brandon Cooks. So I'm assuming when they drop the NFL 100 later, they probably will be 95 overalls, which means you can get any of the new NFL 100 players with this power pass. So they kind of given us three for free. The 93 to 94 gives us one free NFL 100 and 95 gives us another free NFL 100 and the actual souls gives us another one. We can get like three NFL 100s for free in essence. That's really not that bad. That's actually pretty cool. Now, series four multiplayer wins as per usual all the way up. Typical 120, 120, 120, 60, 60, 60, 30, 30, 30, 30, 10, 10, 10. It's always the same format. And remember, if you get all these done, you get close to a thousand trophies, which is a really good head start on the new Brandon Cooks, which I think is definitely, definitely worth it. Now, let's see if the new Gauntlet is out, because that's what we care about, too. I definitely plan to grind the Gauntlet out and get those rewards for you as soon as possible today, as soon as I can, at least. And it does. Oh, the Gauntlet 2 is here. Okay, so welcome back to the Gauntlet. Get ready to knock the rust off and put your skills and test skills to the test again. Earn 75 stars to upgrade the Gauntlet 1 player you received in the first Gauntlet. Okay. And earn 100 stars to acquire a new one. So, let's see. How do we upgrade them? So 75 stars gets us an upgrade token. Okay, so you probably put your player in with an upgrade token to get the full one. That's actually really cool. And then the 100 gets you the Gauntlet Fantasy Pack, and then you want to get the Expert Token. So I think there'll probably be a third Gauntlet first, and then we could use all the Expert Tokens together to get a free player. But the Fantasy Pack is where we're going to get the choice of the guys I just showed you, which were the Suggs, the Sanders, the Yonda, and so on and so forth. But this Upgrade Token does mean we can upgrade our cards. I don't know what the upgrade actually is too. We'll go check that out in a second. But you get 78+, plus, 78+, plus, 12,000 coins, 78+, plus, 78+. Plus. 18,000 coins, 30,000 coins, 83 plus. Solid rewards. So pretty much you're getting two above 90 overall players here when you upgrade them. Now, let's see how long it's probably going to take. I mean, not too long, right? 10 challenges. Are they all 10? 10, 10, 10 probably. Probably take you no longer than two and a half hours if you do it all right and you're decent at this game. Probably shouldn't take you that long at all. Now, let's head on over to sets real quick to see if they did drop the gauntlet sets. We can get an idea of what this is going to look like. Now, who would I end up choosing from that? That's 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 tough. That's tough. They have the whole new gauntlet set for us. The gauntlet. Gauntlet 2 exchange. Turn in your gauntlet 2 player. So this is the exchange set to put the gauntlet players together. Now I wonder how you upgrade this gauntlet player. Let me go click on mine. I believe I have Juju Smith, which I don't think I'll actually end up keeping. If I can't upgrade my cards, I'll probably end up taking something different here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go over to Juju. Oh no, I have that Oliver now. Alright, upgrade. Okay, there you go. You can put the gauntlet 2 token. So they become 92 overalls. So honestly, I don't know. Maybe I'll stick with defensive tackle here because he does have an 80 speed. I do need a defensive tackle. What's his block shed? Pretty decent. Impact block and power move. Or maybe Devin White. This might be where Devin White ends up becoming the move because you're going to get a really, really good coverage linebacker. Well, really good user linebacker, I should say. There's a ton of stuff that just came out with this new series update. Now, guys, what's my best personal advice to you guys? Get your levels grinded. I'm telling you, the quicker you get those power passes, the better your team becomes, the better you can play when we can league with your better team. Quicker you get those coins. And now, I, like I said, I'd recommend you take a bull rush approach for that Brandon Cooks. That Brandon Cooks looks really, really good. Going to be a great card overall. And he's crazy fast. I think I pretty much covered everything that regards to the series. I'm just recapping real quick just to make sure. All the level ups, all the Tory Holtz, everything. That should be just about it, guys. So, I covered everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, it is the 25 days of food miss, guys. All you got to do is enter is just three few things. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video, comment down below the secret word that you heard throughout the video, and your console. Once you do all this, you're entered to win. Good luck. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.